Happy Halloween! It's Tilly here and I'm super excited for this year's Halloween. It feels like a bright spot among 2020. It's just a few short days away. And this year, for costumes, we decided to be Among Us characters. And I'm super pumped. It's been a while since I've done a costume based off of a video game. If you don't know what Among Us is, it is a multiplayer video game based off of the game Murder. Or it might not be based off of it, but it's essentially the game of murder where you have one or two folks called imposters, where they're actually, their goal is to go around and sabotage everything and kill everyone on the map. There are 10 people to a game or up to 10 people. Everyone else is a crewmate. So crewmates have tasks that they are trying to do to complete in order to win the game themselves and kind of get out scot-free. You have little meetings based on if you find a body or you want to call a meeting if someone is suspicious and everyone's trying to suss out who the murderer is. And we mean sus, S-U-S-S, -S, not sus, S-U-S, -S, which people say is suspicious. So there's a difference there. It's an S. Word. It's also, I think, pretty low barrier to entry in the cosplay world. You can purchase most of the pieces. So what you'll need, an astronaut costume, or you can make your own, an astronaut helmet, as well as spray paint in the color of your astronaut suit, or if you want to make your own color based off of the colors that are available in the game, as well as then any decoration or accoutrement that goes on top of the space helmet. So it'll be a lot of fun. We'll show you a few different examples of different hats you can put on, how to attach them, and we'll just have a great time for Halloween. And it's going to be pretty safe because we'll have masks and a helmet. So it's a great way to be like, keep your distance and don't breathe on me. We ended up ordering our spacesuits off of Amazon, but you can also find them at your local Party City or Spirit Halloween store. I would say they're pretty good quality for the price point. In order to paint the helmets, we had to remove the visors. We did that by first using an X-Acto knife to cut down one side of the plastic screw and swivel that holds it in place. Once we did that, we could squeeze with some pliers and apply some force to remove it. To start the painting process, we first covered the foam at the top of the helmet with paper towel in order to protect it. Next we were ready to spray paint. Now I've never spray painted before so this was a little rough but I first tested on an area of cardboard and was instructed to do light even layers of spray paint and to not let the bottle sit in one place for too long of a time because then you get either paint bubbles or paint drips. But you know, I think I did a pretty good job. We probably should have used a primer for the orange helmet, and so I'd recommend that if you're using a lighter color such as cyan, you first put a primer down before painting. Once the paint is dry, you can then remove the paper towel and snap the visor back into place. Just be careful, the plastic will break if you put too much pressure on it, so snap them back into place carefully. And you may need a second set of hands. And now for the fun part, the hats. Uh, one of the great things about Among Us is its customization when it comes to hats. So we knew we wanted to have multiple hat options. In order to do that, we decided to use snaps to be able to easily swap between hat options and make sure that they don't come off throughout the evening. We started by hot gluing the snaps into place both on the helmets and on the different hat options. However, 
one of the snaps did come off of the helmet, so I would recommend using a stronger glue, such as super glue, to adhere it to both the plastic and the different type of hat options. With the helmets and hats done, you can then add mittens or snow gloves, as well as tennis shoes or boots, and then of course any adorable pet you want on your adventure to figure out who's really being sus and who's the imposter. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did feel free to like, subscribe, and leave a comment about what you're going to be for Halloween this year. I hope it's a safe one. You can also share your costumes with me at Tilly Boom Cosplay on Instagram. We'll see you in the next video. Bye! Stay spooky! Oh, Just jab myself with a horn. Sparkly!